Hi, happy Christmas. Um, it's the 28th of December. I'm recovering from a mild, very mild dose of COVID. So can't go out anywhere. So I thought I'd have a quick look at the route for Norway. Uh, it's just under four weeks, just under 6,000 miles. So you can see here that I use my route app, uh, which is a brilliant bit of software, actually from a Dutch company, costs about 30 quid a year. And this is my original route. It was going from UK across Europe, uh, crossing over the bridge and tunnel into Sweden, following the um, east coast of Sweden, all the way up to the tip of Norway, and then coming back down the west coast of Norway, crossing back over the Skagerrak to Denmark, and then a road trip back to UK. The first few days, obviously, and last few days are just literally motorway miles to get yourself to the bit you need to get to. Um, so this was the original route. It was originally designed for my RT, so it was designed as a road trip. Um, but the thing I found that was gonna be really boring about it was that the northern trip of this, the northern leg, uh, following up through Sweden, was potentially very dull. Um, so I decided to change the plan and go for something called the Tet. Now the TET is a combination of tracks that's run by a non-profit organisation. And what I've done here is I've, I've added in four sections of the TET. You can see them there um, as they come north, basically running a little bit to the west of where the original route was. And then it cuts back onto the original route to cross to the final bit of Norway. Um, and what the TET is, you can see now I've zoomed in, the black section there is, route, is, the, is the second section of the TET. The first section is below where I want to be. The red section is the third. Um, the blue section is the fourth. And then right up at the top here in a second, you'll see the green section, which is the fifth section. Now altogether, there's 2000 miles of off-road riding there, which is probably far too much. But you can see, this is the sort of road track. This is the sort of track it is. Some of it, uh, don't get me wrong. I appreciate that bits of it are gonna be very difficult to do on a fully loaded GS. So if you look now at the main route, what I've basically managed to do is to, instead of coming all the way north along this road, just following the river, or rather the, um, the Baltic Sea, I'm using this off-road section. Now I totally understand I won't be able to do all of this off-road section on a fully loaded GSA, but some of it will be manageable. Um, in fact, I believe having spoken to a lot of people in Norway and Sweden that a lot of it will be manageable. From there, the route then packs, or then picks up the road again and heads further north up to um, Nordkap in Norway, which is the very northern point of Norway, that number 17 there you can see on the route. Um, from there, it then starts to head south again, and we go past Tromso and all the way back out to probably one of the highlights, which is the Lofoten Islands, which is this area over here. Um, you can see here, I mean, you've only got to look and use a bit of imagination what this is going to look through to ride through. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, and the Lofton Islands themselves are like an interlinked group of islands with bridges and ferries that you spend a few days going through and then get a ferry back over to Bodo, that number 26 there. Um, and that then runs you south um, all the way down to, um, down through past the Atlantic Highway, which is down there near Christiansund in 32. And um, you can see here, just look at this bit here. Just imagine what that's gonna be if I zoom in, what that's gonna look like to ride over. That's actually the Atlantic Highway, that section you can see there, which is this big bridge running out over the, Nor or over the North Sea effectively. If I change over now to the um, satellite view, you can just see, I mean, just look at that. That's gonna be fantastic, isn't it? And what an amazing bit of scenery that's gonna be to ride over. Um, and then carrying further on down, we end up going down uh, right to the southern tip of Norway. Um, and then this little section here, you can just see a small hand section there. This is Lee's Bottom, which is, and just look at that now. That's, look at that for a bit of road. This is a motorbike dream. So that's obviously somewhere I'll be visiting, hopefully getting there by ferry um, and then riding back out. Ferry from Christiansen back over to Denmark, back across the Skyrack, and then you're back down into um, Europe and um, all the way back down to London. So the key thing I'm after here is I'm after advice. If anybody's done any of this route and they can add bits into it, they can tell me things I'm driving past. I haven't got that much time to spread, to spend spreading out the trip going different directions. But if anyone can see, anyone knows anything that's nearby or 
specific information on the TET as to bits that are impossible, uh, bits that are very difficult, anything like that, would be very helpful. Um, so a message left would be fantastic. Um, this is all happening in July, and if you want to um, find out more information or, or watch it happen, then please subscribe to YouTube.